Hello everyone, welcome to questions and answers based on the computational finance course. Today is question number four, which is, can you price options in terms of European options using arithmetic brand motion? Um, this uh, question is based on materials discussed in lecture number two. So arithmetic brown in motion is a process uh, defined here, uh, which is uh, mm, which is slightly different than what we have seen before for geometric brown emotion. So the process used for pricing options, for example, using Black Scholes model. The big difference lies in the volatility and the drift. So here is the volatility term and drift. You can see that this structure here it's a simplified version of the model that we are familiar with of geometric brown emotion. Uh, however, if we think of pricing options, so using this model to get up to option price of option price, then it is of course possible. Uh, the question here is whether it makes sense. So uh, let's consider a case that in a market we see some uh, for particular strike K and expiry date T, we see an option price C1. Of course, based on uh, uh, our knowledge, we can easily um, find implied volatility for geometric brown emotion. So from here, we can find sigma hat so this will be implied volatility such that this model so geometric bound in motion for option prices will match exactly the option price observable in a market the same strategy we can do here we can find also here let's call it sigma tilde uh, we can find this so let's make it like this uh, so we can find this sigma tilde such that the option price observable in the market will match perfectly. But it doesn't mean that those two models are equivalent. If I see option price from both models, um, it could be matched perfectly, but doesn't mean that the models are the same. And the question is where we will see the difference. And the difference we will see in the sensitivities, in the Greeks. So this model assumes that paths are um, non-negative. So we have only positive action paths for geometric brown emotion. For arithmetic brown emotion, uh, stocks realizations, those stock realizations can become negative. And this is very unrealistic. This means that in our hedging strategy, we would also need to account for that type of possible phenomena that model assumes. However, it is an unrealistic assumption. So this is a little bit of a, you see, um, by looking at option prices, um, it is not always the, the best uh, criterion whether your model is good enough. Of course, here there is another problem that both models, so either we use uh, geometric brown emotion or arithmetic brown emotion, both models are not able to calibrate to implied volatility, smile or skew. But in this particular case, we consider a market uh, only consisting of one particular option. So then we can easily compare them and we will see which model is um, is more um, adequate. Uh, similar approach you can do also for uh, um, OU process where we have this uh, volatility parameter sigma. So let's say we, we fix some drift parameters here and we could say, okay, we would price options with uh, austin umbeck process. But then it's another issue. Is this actually an actual process that we can use for pricing of options? And of course, it is not the case. It's not only that it's negative, but there is a complication in the drift. So this model is not even well-defined under the risk neutral measure in terms of a stock divided by money savings account. It should be material, and this is obviously not the case here. Here I have prepared a few uh, realizations, paths, for, for those two, three stochastic differential equations. So we see a blue line. Uh, we have a geometric brown emotion, so it is exponentially growing in time. Um, then we have an arithmetic brown emotion, so this is the red line. So you see it's much more, it's linear grow uh, in time. And then we have also the Umbeck process. Here in this particular case, we don't see arithmetic brown in motion paths to become negative. However, if we would simulate more paths, this obviously would be a case. Uh, also, it's important to note here that in those three simulations, I have used the same brown in motion. So you can see the same shapes, patterns of your um, uh, of the simulated paths. So uh, long story short, um, it is possible to price options using arithmetic brown in motion, but it may not make sense. Everything depends what is the underlying assumption of your asset. Is the dynamics of your process uh, properly chosen? Does it really reflect 
the physical properties of the uh, of the market and that's the the key element here i hope it explains see you next time